big. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. I have been out here all morning, and you come out here and just smoke one right when I'm getting ready to leave. Trying out this new toy. Thanks to my son Brian. Here's the river with these big flatheads out there, just begging to be caught. And I already walked up here and set down my fishing poles. Sat down my fishing poles. And here's what we're looking at. A little bit too high for Brian to walk on, but you never know. Okay, here we come. We're climbing down the bank. Trying to not get myself killed or a broken leg or busted face. Okay, here we go. We gotta catch us some bait. We gotta catch some bait. And the bait's going to go in here after we catch it. So we tie up the bucket where we keep the bait and try to keep it from getting washed down the river. Now we'll get this trusty little throw net out. and our rope to tie the big flat heads on. And we'll fill up our bucket, put some of the bait in. First catch and we have two fine bluegills for bait. Okay, what have we here? Several more bluegills and a pumpkin seed. Whoa, he's trying to get away. We just climbed up the wall and we have these very comfortable Alpha Burley boots on. They've got orange inside, real cool. They slip on and off real nice. And they're very comfortable to walk in and stand in. I'm only going out there a little ways. I'm trying to avoid the snags. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, folks. I'm headed home. Had a fun day. Got one big channel cat take it home well as usual my dad gets started fishing way before the rest of us every year but it didn't take Tom long before he decided to join in and took a trip there with my dad as well Hi. see it's a little camera you can put it on your head like this here just look at it and say cheers all for curly me and Justin going fishing I got an eight inch sucker fish on here and I just had one slam it. He's on, check him out.
I don't know if I've ever caught one on a sucker before. This dude's on here. The fish is so long, I'm trying to let him chew on this fish. And, uh, because I hooked him way back in the tail, I gotta get that hook in his mouth. I'm waiting on him to get it in there. That flathead's just laying right down there. Here we go. It's a big one. Big flatheads sit there, they suck in the bait, and they just sit there for a while. Um, they'll chew up the bait, swallow it, whatever, and then they will slowly swim off. That's like, you know, you may, you may think a log, a drifting log grabbed your pole and is pulling you down. Well, that's the flathead. He's big. <laughs> no! He was 25 pounds! He's coming at you. We got a patroller here. Now he's coming in here. Here he goes. I think this is a little one. Now he's right here. Here we go. Come on, sucker. Come on, we gotta catch Big Black, man. Keeper. You got me okay? Yeah. The only thing I'm not okay with is bait. We need bait. No, Tom! So smaller flathead catfish, uh, after they make a hit, they tend to swim around more. They tend to bang your pole, bounce your pole around. Um, I'm not sure why that is, you know. Maybe they have trouble swallowing the bait. Nice, though. He's, nice. Not, a, he's not a monster, but he's, nice. he's a keeper. We got him. I got to get a babysitter for the kids, man. These fish are on, dude. Okay, folks, this is chicken, chicken little Paul out here on the dam. I want to catch one of these monsters. Okay, this feels pretty safe out here. And just a little lesson for you, Justin over there on the side, he saw a boy fall off a dam and he was in the little spill water here in the fast water and he said just a lesson to be learned and many of you I'm sure know this already but for those of you who don't never try to stay on top of the water right here if you accidentally end up in here like swimming or in a canoe or a boat or if you get stuck here you take a breath and go to the bottom and push out away from the turbulence 
and then come up out there and stay alive. Okay, enough safety lessons as I stand out here on the dam afraid. It's time to catch a big catfish. I'm fired up. Got Justin down here. Daniel's on the way. Brian's in Arcola, wishing he could be out here fishing. Tom, the flathead slayer he is, is being a responsible daddy and taking care of home right now since he has a need to be at home. Home is first priority, although many fishermen are bad boys especially if the fish are biting. All right, I got a hit. Okay, my little stinger hook did not work. I was reading about the flathead some more and about the catfish in general, how they like to get up here against dams like this and fat and lazy, they like to just lay there and let the food come to them like a, a big buffet. Okay, so now I gotta remember not to yank back on this line when they hit it. All right, we join you with my dad who just hooked into a big flathead. In fact, I think this is the biggest flathead of his life, which kind of explains why he didn't have time to turn the GoPro on until after he had it uh, almost all the way reeled in. I gotta let him fight. Don't let him get worn out a little bit. All right, my dad got his big monster catfish and he's back for more. Justin's out there working and we're over here playing. <laughs> okay, first cast of the morning. There's some goofy old piece of bait on here. What's that what's that fish called? Horny head? Horny head sucker. Red horny head sucker. Same fish! We both got him! We both got him, look at that crap. He ate both of our baits. Did he really? Look. Nah, I think I'm just around you, ain't I? Oh. <laughs> yep, he's yours. Nice. Let's see the hook, really? You got a knife in your pocket? At that pier, that's where I usually go. But Paul keeps catching him by this tree out here. So I don't know where to go.
think we'll try it right by this tree real quick. Check Paul out, he's out there, <laughs> he's in the river. Okay, I just saved the Blue Hill. I waited out here and it was scary. And now since I'm out here, I'm gonna fish. <laughs> well, everything has pretty much died down and my dad decided he'd head up to the spillway and give it one more cast before heading home. <laughs> Is my camera running? Yeah, mine is too. Oh, sweet. I'm not gonna try to walk the wall until he wears down some. I've been out here all morning, and you come out here and just smoke one, right when I'm getting ready to leave. Is he pulling hard? Yeah, he's pretty good. I can't lift him up. Yeah, go ahead and just take off walking. Oh, did you even catch that thing? I don't know. Okay, I'm a little bit chicken walking this wall. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Check us out on YouTube and Facebook and hope you enjoy these bloopers at the end of the episode. Oh yeah, he's got her good. Giddy, now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is he pulling pretty good? About my normal, you know, one, two pounder. Big guy, little fish. Yeah.